Welcome to a Let's Put New Pickups in a Guitar video. Now, Andreas Kloppmann uh, contacted me and said, hey, can you do something on pickups? And I'm, I'm like, well, those are difficult videos. I can't install them myself. I'll wreck the guitar. I'm not good with uh, soldering. So I have to go to my buddy Yoshi Luck. And then there's before and there's after. And what if the after isn't, oh my God, that's uh, the after. <laughs> what if that's uh, not amazing? Uh, what, whatever comes out, comes out. I can't guarantee the results. And they're like, okay, let's do it. We already did his HP-59s, which are classic PAFs, PAFs, um, in the FGN Expert Flame. And I said, well, let's test uh, cutting down trees and eat more lunch. Like to the lavatory, you're shopping, and there's butter, scones for tea. You Anyone got that reference? So... I said, well, but I have this guitar that might, where we always thought, well, the pickups maybe could be better. This is my Quenzel M3. And I have a love-hate relationship with this guitar. Um, Marcus back then decided to put a big-ass thick coat of nitro on it. So this is a little bit of a sticky neck, and we're going to address that at a later date. I think we should take that nitro off. It had Schaller locking tuners on it. This is the after guitar, by the way. Um which I absolutely hated. They didn't work well. They were, they were not precise. So it was time to put other tuners on there. And we had a temporary bridge on there for years, which was an ABM wraparound for a, for a junior. So it was time for this Rezo Max um, GraphTech bridge. And in that process, why not put in other pickups? Now, the pickups that were in there were Four Seasons pickups from uh, Holland. And they were made specifically for the guitar. And they're also handmade. So here's the thing. Already handmade, pretty high-end, small shop pickups. Not something off the rack from China. So how much of a jump is this guitar going to make? But we always thought maybe there's more to get out of the guitar. And where do you start? What's an easy fix? Well, that's pickups. Now, Klopman has the new hammer and anvil set. And that is pretty much his take on the classic PAF with a little bit more balls. It's not the modern fluence take. It's not the um, let's get a completely different super mega modern pickup. No, it's a classic PAF that you put in your Les Paul, in your Explorer, in whatever humbucker guitar you have. If you want a classic PAF sound, but with a little bit more output. And they're especially good for uh, coil tapping, splitting. One of those two is correct. And this is the great thing on this guitar. It always did that. And the sounds were fantastic, but they were a little bit thin. So I took this to Yoshi Luck to have this installed. And full disclosure, in the same process, new bridge and new tuners. So it's not, what you're going to hear is not 100% just the pickups. But are you really going to hear the tuners? Are you really going to hear the bridge? The bridge, of course, sustain all that stuff. Um, but we'll see what happens before and after. So we're going to first go to the before clips and you can see the old tuners and the old bridge. Um, three different amps. You can easily skip that. It's about three minutes. So listen to that. <laughs>
Okay, now we're going to take this thing to Yoshi and have him install everything. And you can hang out with us and watch us do that. Hello, now uh, we've traveled the amazing two kilometers to Yoshi's workshop and put the Quenzel M3 on the table. And even though I know, I know it's not the exact one-to-one -one thing, I want to pimp this thing up a little bit, so I'm going to put new tuners on it because those shutters are really not delivering so I'm going to put graph tech ratio locking on it. We will see maybe if we can just stick another bridge on there if the graph tech fits. If not, this one stays which is, is I think your ABM wraparound. Mm -hmm. And of course these um, Four Seasons pickups will be replaced with pretty much, uh, they don't look exactly the same, um, but two cream bobbin hammer and anvil and the hammer is the neck and the anvil is the bridge. This will be a little bit more difficult than the FGN because this has a push-push uh, call tap and that means you have to do something with wires and I don't know how do you do it? Do you, do you do like twist them together? Um, is there any code? Any, I don't, I don't I know. know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you behind the lamp? Um, because I'm too shy, I'm sorry. Oh, he's too shy, he's yeah. a behind the lamp luthier. And I don't think I mean that much that I have to be in front of the camera. <laughs> so. You're doing the job. I don't know at all what I'm doing. So, um, But I think we can, we can do that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get out of the picture. Yoshi's gonna do his thing. And then we're gonna see how good these sound in that guitar. Not generally how these sound, because we don't know. We know how these will sound in that guitar. I'm go always gonna have to reinforce that because this isn't an isolated piece of product. It is always a whole, a part of a whole. I said whole. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, the sun never shines when you're down and out. It's hard to look at life when you can't get up. These are the dark when you're in a hole. These are the times when you just feel old. It's hard to speak when you can't shout. It's hard to smile when you're here without. Everybody needs a little helping hand. Pull you up, you gotta make your stand Oh, I am here And I feel your pain I know you're hurting But in the flame These lonely days I will Stand by you, come on.
And we're back. Now, let's do the oh, very similar sounds. I can't play exactly the same thing. That's the thing. It's pickup videos. You can't play it exactly the same. And you're going to say, it's not a scientific video because the bridge is different. Stop your crying. Please don't comment on that. I know. But how different is it really? It's a different day. Am I going to play it differently? I didn't touch the amps. The amps were exactly in the same situation. But whatever. Here are the sounds with the new pickups and the new everything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, obviously, that doesn't tell you a, a real AB because you don't know what it sounded like, you know, 10 minutes ago. So let's do a quick AB with similar sections right next to each other. <laughs> So here's my verdict. Interestingly, with the Four Seasons pickups, I felt that in humbucker mode, they had a little bit of a blanket on top of them. And that remains with the club months, with the hammer and anvil. And I talked to Andreas and he said, well, obviously it, the, the pickups are part of a whole. The guitar has a sound and a good pickup will give you the sound of the guitar. And the guitar has a Maple neck, maple fretboard, thick ass Swetenya mahogany body. I mean, thick ass body. It has a wrap, wrap around, all that stuff, a bone nut. All these things make the sound of the guitar. And the pickup shouldn't change that, but adequately translate that sound. And also there's electronics. If something in the electronics puts kind of a blanketed high end, you know, blanket on top of it, his pickups can't change that that's in the electronics and that's going to stay and that's exactly what i noticed in humbucker mode especially with the crunch sounds from the friedman i wish there was a little bit more brightness but i don't think it's the pickups there's something else afoot what i so i don't notice any difference between the four seasons pickups and the club months when it comes to the humbucker mode in split coil when that's up I noticed it stays a lot more 
even in level. They are fatter single chord sounds. They're not single chord sounds. Okay, this, isn't, this is never going to be a strat. It's never going to sound like a strat. But I can get those beautiful 80s uh, open chord sounds, you know, put some delay reverb on it. That would be fantastic. Um, and with the Friedman kind of like really cool, dirty, bluesy sounds, I think the single chord part is much more usable than before. Now, are they super modern uh, uh, pickups? I tried to do some some big open chords with like extensions with the ref when there was lots of gain, and they do n do nice string separation, which is what you need for modern music. But they are not meant to be a replacement or alternative to like a Fishman that does that beautifully. They are the classic path with more balls. Did it make sense? to spend, which of course I didn't, I got the pickups and I'm also getting paid for this video, you have to know that. Um, did it? Would it make sense, let me put it this way, because I didn't pay for the pickups. Would it make sense to spend 412 euro for those pickups to put them in this guitar? Yes and no. A, I always felt the guitar needed to go somewhere and I always felt, well, maybe I don't know how good Bob did the pickups back then. I don't know, you know, I have no idea. I don't know how good are Four Seasons pickups. And that means having the certainty to put some of the best pickups in here that you can buy because Andreas Kloppmann did pickups for the Gibson Custom Shop, the Fender Custom Shop, and some of the most coveted guitars on the market. Um, it. I now know that this is how far the guitar can go. This is the optimum in terms of pickups that I can get out of it. Whether or not it's giving the guitar a major boost in sound and all of a sudden the guitar is so much better, doesn't matter. I have that peace of mind. It's better to have that peace of mind when you get the guitar built in the first place. Okay? Because now I would have spent, I think this guitar would be 6,000 bucks or 5,800 or whatever. Um, it's better to go in and at the beginning and say, let's put some of the best shit in there that's on the market. And that puts Andreas Kloppmann in the same league as Lola, as Heusel, and there's Kloppmann, and Nick Silver, and all these super high-end pickup builders. Because then you know that you've done everything to make sure your guitar is as good as it can be. Would you put that much investment in new pickups when you have another high-end guitar that already has pickups? After the experience I've just made, no, I wouldn't. Would I put these in any of my PRS guitars? No, because I trust PRS to put really good shit in there. And the Kloppmann would be as good, but I don't think it would change the guitar in a way that all of a sudden it would be Im insanely better. They're already very good. Would I put them in uh, one of my Music Mans? No, they're very good guitars, and I trust Music Man to put very good pickups in there that complement the guitar beautifully. However, if you get something made, spend the money. Spend the money on someone like Andreas because you know that it's as good as it can be and you will never question, ah, oh, could the guitar be better with better pickups? No, because he did everything you could do. You also don't put, you know, shitty tuners on there, Charlotte. Um, you might also want to go for a bow nut or a GraphTech Tusk, Tusk XL. Uh, you're not going to put plastic on a nut on a cheap guitar. Why? Well, because you know you want to do everything to make the guitar as good as it can be. When Marcus asked me back then, do you want African mahogany or Spatania or whatever? And there were two different kinds and, and there was an upgrade of a couple of hundred bucks. And I said, well, if we're building this guitar anyway, let's make sure we use the best shit possible. Do I hear the difference? Very likely not, but you go for it. You, you go the extra mile and that's what you get when you invest in a pickup builder like Klopman. Does it really make a huge difference? With these, in the single coil, yes. In the humbucker, I, I, I can't tell. But I feel better about the guitar now. And I know that is stupid, but there's so much psychology involved. And obviously, the pickups are a part of a whole. So you can't say, oh, I love the sound of those pickups. When I hear people say this, I get so mad. I love the sound of those pickups. I love how those pickups sound. You don't fucking know how the pickups sound. You have no fucking idea. Because it's the whole thing. Maybe you love the sound of a certain K-pot, of a certain transistor capacitor, whatever the other things are called. Maybe you like the sound of the strings on that guitar. Maybe you like the pick that someone uses, which has 
as much influence of the sound on the sound as probably the pickups. I'm sorry. I think I think that's true. So you have no idea what pickups sound like. All you can do is try to make sure to invest adequately to improve the instrument as much as you can. So if you have a 500 euro guitar uh, from Ibanez, are you going to put 412 euros of pickups in there? Well, if you absolutely 100% love that guitar, you played it for 20 years and it's your favorite thing to pick off the wall, yes. Don't go buy a brand new Ibanez or whatever. FGN, buy, don't go buy a brand new guitar for 500 or 1,000 bucks and then say, oh, uh, now we're going to put 412 bucks of pickups in there. I think that would be a stupid move. You're getting your guitar built for three, 4,000 bucks? Yeah, put fucking club months in there. Go for the best. That's all I can say. I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. And uh, I'll put links below. You can check that out. There's, of course, more videos from other people. And uh, thank you, Andreas, and thank you, Manuel, for commissioning these videos. And I'm um, going to put uh, animals at the end. Look up to the sky.